I wanted to be in a band because free drugs don't come with other jobs. This kind of became a realization of being my life at a really early point because I thought we were really famous, but we weren't. But I thought we were like the biggest band in the world and it really fucks up my career for a while. And then I had to take it seriously because I take it super seriously now, as you can tell. Um, but it was, uh, it was probably in, first time we really noticed, probably in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It was our first ever show to more than a thousand people. If I wasn't in a band, I'd be trying to be in a band. I never get, I'm, I'm blessed with this curse of I'm never nervous or worried about anything ever, which uh, it's awesome in that I don't get nervous and all that stuff and no worries and all that crap. But I do then fuck a lot of shit up because I'm not worried about the consequences. I thought I would never go on tour again multiple times, let alone make it back from a tour. Um, I did overdose once on tour. That was uh, pretty rough, but I made it back, obviously, because I'm alive. I think it was, uh, I forget the name of the show, but it was one in Vegas that we did, and you physically couldn't see the end of the people. And uh, as you know, scrap that, Seattle. I was pretty fucking emotional. It was pissed off emotion, but it was emotional. And I then solidified my place in the realm of hereditary fuck ups. I got shit face drunk went to sleep on stage, woke up and then started fighting the crowd. The 15 year old me, he'd think I was cool as fuck. And he'd be like, God, I wanna be like that guy. Cause I was such a fucking loser.